Hey there YouTube, uh, this is just a real quick cover my ass video and cover my ass in the way of I've just got a package through the post I'm just going to undo it without recording it and it is another it's another one of these and although it's all a bit bent it's all a bit bent up and a bit twisty up but Oh dear. I suppose if they're just going to wrap them in, in this and uh, there's the envelope and the wrapper gone but it's just a plastic bag it came in oh no that's a lie actually it came in a little box but still even a little box so let's have a look in the knee that actually looks a bit better than the last one so the last one the wires were just sticking out all over the place and what we want to know is if the current adjust works. So I'm going to connect this up to something that's going to give me some voltage. And we're going to see if we can adjust the current. So just bear with me and let me uh, get some wires onto this. So let's just check by in, positive, in, negative. So my power supply is not on yet. I'm just going to stick you know, 10, 11 volts into it. Put my little um, and put my little uh, come here. And put this little LED uh, on the other side on the output. So it's quite nicely e easily marked up. Now I know I've already got five volts going into this in a minute because this is the way it was set up from the other day. And but I can just put you on something. Let's see if I can get these things off some. Uh, that's not gonna fit, is it? Is it gonna fit? Hmm, oh, forget it. Right, so this is what we got then. This is the uh, bulb, this is the current adjust, that's the voltage adjust. So I'm going to turn it on now, I'm going to just turn down the voltage. Uh, in actual fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on this side of the... Because uh, it shouldn't come out too high, but if it's already turned up, which we won't know, until I just turn this all the way down. If I can hear it click. Still got no power going into it, so we're okay. should be 5 volts, bang on, that is 5 volts over here as we can see already we've got output obviously um, and even though that's only got 5 volts going into it that's quite surprising isn't it, that was actually in the output that is quite surprising actually so let me just see if I can adjust this so it turns it down hoping Okay, let me turn up the voltage here and see the difference that's made. Yeah, definitely got a bit more going on the output there because that's flashing away, and it is on this side of the um, this side of the resistor as well. So I need to put a voltmeter on here, don't I, and see if we've got any adjustment on the voltage because so far. We don't seem to be having a great deal of adjustment. And you got to remember that that is through the resistor, so I don't expect that to be very much brighter. At that voltage, um, that's probably going to be what we're going to see. I'm not even going to try putting that there, um, because I can see already, I think we've got a bit of a problem. But let me put the um, voltage, uh, put a voltmeter on it, and we'll, we'll see what's going on. 
Okay, so I put the voltmeter on, <clears throat> and we got an 11.3 there on the output, and we got 11.19 uh, going in. So <clears throat> this seems like it's turned down then, as far as it would go. Let me just do something with them blind so we can see this. A little bit better. Okay, you might have to put up my shaky hand thing a little bit, but so I've just changed the blinds and put some underneath the back of here because the bail on these is absolutely useless. You may as well just leave it lying down flat. Never mind, it was a freebie, so shouldn't really complain. So, right, let's see if we can adjust the amperage. Well, let's turn the voltage up a little bit first and let's just see if that actually works. So, the voltage just went up as you saw. Hopefully you saw, it's around about 12 volts. I'm just going to back that back down again and see if we can... Okay, so in there, if I just twist that gently there. 11.3, 11.5, 11.9, there. Uh, 12, so it does go up. It's going to go up gently with it. Oh, and then it goes back down again. So it goes all, now we're going to keep twisting it back down. So we're back to 11.23. So it did go up a little bit, and then it went back down. So let's just try this ampage. So the light's still glowing. And now, uh, so we can just adjust anything with that. So I'm just turning that. Current control. Yep. And absolutely nothing is happening. It's not happening over there, it's not happening here. So let's turn the voltage back up again. Twelve, thirteen, and it's back down to eleven. So it does go up a little bit on the voltage, but then it just drops back down again. Okay, well, I shall now connect it directly to the battery, and I should have 13.6 volts on the battery. Um, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to get to, but I'm going to do that, and we're going to see how we how we go from there. And also, I'm probably going to consider trying to make the battery a bit more accessible connection. Good times like this. So let me just switch this off. Okay. And I'll connect up to the battery directly so we've got more power. Okay, so what I've done is I've um, <clears throat> well, we got 13, 10 there. I just stuck um, from the cable coming off. Underneath there, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, see the red cable there. And the black cable that's coming up there that feeds my battery charger, the blue battery charger. I've just thrown a socket onto it and connected the uh, as a negative and the red as a positive. <clears throat> and I brought that down now, so now we've got like 13 volts. Uh, that's actually on the output, 13 volts. But you know we've got 13, uh, 13, 6 on the input. There's whatever it says over there. That 13, 6. I know it says point half an amp being drawn. That's because I'm charging this. I'm charging those and all this stuff's on so there's nothing to do with this down here at the minute even though we will see the ampage uh, being used over there right so now we want to do that check again and I wish I could find my little trim tool because I much prefer to be playing with these things with a trim tool than I do with this. So let's see if we can turn the voltage up first. So maybe you can see the voltage there. And just okay. Well, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. We're actually going up in voltage. That's good. And now we're going over voltage. So we're on 20 volts. And it's good that I've got that resistor on there then. And now I'm going to try and turn this down by turning down the current. And I hope this works. Because this is part of my power supply. And look at what happens. Nothing. And this is what's the problem with my other one. I don't want them without the current control. They've got to have current control. I hope, look, 
this is 10 amps, right? This thing here, supposedly 10 amps, it'll do. Well, 10 amps? Yeah, it depends what it volts. 12 to 600 watts it reckons, but I only want it to give a maximum of 5 amps output. Okay, I want to trim it to maximum of 5 amps output. So it's just current regulated. And then I can put a front end on here, um, up to 5 amps, and I know that, one, if I blast high voltage through it, I'm only going to lose one module, because if the front end goes, that's great, I've still got this part behind, um, and I can interchange stuff. Cheaper. I'm thinking. But I have to have current control. And this is why I buy these things for the current control. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just adjust this down now all the way till I hit it. clicking. And there's absolutely no change in the voltage, there's no change in the amperage being used, and there's no change in the brightness of the thingy. This is why I like my little trim tool instead. Whoops. And I can keep turning that and absolutely nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. The brightness is still the same. You can see that the brightness there. The brightness is still the same. Yeah. We're still on 20 volts there. And I can turn that 20 volts up. I'm sorry if my hand being in the way, but I can turn that 20 volts up look. So we're going up, that's good. That, that's all good, the other one does that. And I can turn it down, that's good too. What's the minimum I'm going to get is like 13.1 or 2 volts. But it's this current malarkey that I need control of. So, what I've found myself with again, it seems. I'm just trying to turn the current all the way down so we've got some sort of constant current thing going on. No, it's doing nothing. It's doing nothing. There's absolutely no change to it at all. So I've got another fail. Another fail. Getting a bit annoyed with these, really. Hmm. Of course, I could have plugged this in up there directly into the socket on the side of here. You can see that, yep. Yeah. Uh, never mind. So, there we go, that's, that's a fail. That is a fail. If I turn this down, let's see if we can do it like this. If I turn this down as far as I can, 13.2, which is probably about right, then if I put this now onto this side, real bright. Real bright, and I'm drawing 1.1 amp. But again, still got no control over the current run as I want it current regulated, and it's not doing it. So I'm just going to see if I can turn this down. I mean, I know I've turned it more than 10 times to the left, so I'm just going to keep turning it a bit more. Sometimes you can even click him, you know, as you get to its limit. No, no current control at all. <coughs> right, cheers for watching guys.